good. Let's go back out to Robin as she keeps those warm home fires burning. Robin, I'm enjoying my desk job tonight, I must say. Bob, I'll tell you later why I insisted on being out here because I'm tired of hearing your stories about the blizzard of 67. Uh, well, the, they may not plow the alleys, and they say it may do more harm than good. I'm here with Alderman Scott Wexbot, and you did have a plan for getting to the alleys, but you had some equipment that kind of got commandeered, right? Yeah, Robin, we actually had to use high lifts or backhoes to really get a lot of the heavy stuff out and literally lift it out of the alleys. And this is equipment you count on having for the 30-second ward, right? We have to have it because we had so many uh, people plowing into alleys, residents couldn't get out of their garage. So we had to literally pull them out. Now, the question every alderman is going to be asked in the next uh, month or so is, did your street get plowed before anyone else's? Is it being a side street, I'm sure? No, actually, my street was one of the last ones plowed last night. Is so. that because you're such a pain in the side of uh, Mayor Daly? <laughs> uh, I don't know what it is, but I, I wasn't too stressed about it. My neighbors really came together, and we worked on um, some of the alley in the back. And the, in the front, I think people just, you know, we helped push each other out and move along. So. But all jokes aside, you have had some complaints about uh, the lack of transparency of the process to decide where the, you don't know where trucks are at any given time so that we can all be satisfied that it is being distributed fairly, that we're not being dug out based on cloud or based on something that doesn't make sense to us. Yeah, and I think right, we heard last night about this VIP list that's out there. Right, um, but just about focusing on, you know, downtown as opposed to the neighborhoods. Yeah, downtown does get a lot uh, better treatment. You know, when people were sending me pictures, they were saying, hey, it doesn't look that bad in Chicago. And I said, well, that's Michigan Avenue. It's not the neighborhoods where people are trying to get to work, you know, in the next morning. But, you know, we have to look at equal distribution throughout the city, throughout each one of the wards. And I think the technology that we have out there could be used to do that, but I haven't really seen that over the last few days. So you'd like to see a big map that showed the, the entire city and showed who's got the most snow left and, and where the trucks are being distributed. Yeah, and I think that's something that the city can do with the, the amount of equipment they have in, in the buildings at OEMC and elsewhere. I think they could show the public, here's where we really need things, and here's where we're having more emergencies, and we want to show you how we're distributing these resources. So you're not really accusing them of distributing them unfairly, you're just saying you'd like to see how it's done? Right. I mean, we've, we use taxpayers' money for all all that equipment and resources, so let's let's put it out there and show people what we're doing with it. And you're three days out after a storm, would you have expected to see more side streets clear? Uh, actually, I did. I was really hoping to get more side streets um, taken care of immediately after they finished the larger mains and really jump into the streets. And, and what they do instead? Uh, they kept on the, going on the mains, and that was the frustrating part. I was, I was asking the mayor's office, hey, can we um, shoot over to the side streets? Can you make that shift? Mm -hmm. And we didn't get an answer right away. So that's that's what I was really hoping, that the residents would be able to get in their cars and, and move out. Well, we did want the people in your office to be able to get to work so they could answer all those thousands of phone calls we're sure you've been getting. There was quite a few of them, yeah. Thank you very much, Alderman Scott Wags, back from the 32nd Ward, well, where we are still... The, what, what would you say, half snowed in on the side streets or more? Uh, no, we're, we did just have, I'd say, um, maybe a half dozen or a dozen left that we need to clear out. Okay. Now, clear, the definition of clear could, could vary because I'm thinking curb to curb, and this is not clear either. No, it's not. It's not. But it's enough to get passable uh, you know, equipment through our cars, and that's, that's what we're looking at. One lane at a time. Thank you very much. We appreciate your help. Uh, Bob, back to you there in the warm studio. All right. Is your definition of clear, Robin, uh, like June in Chicago? Would that be it? <laughs> clear, but June would be good. Usually there's there's no snow in the, in, stuck in your curbs in, in June. We hope not. We'll be back to you shortly. Thank you. There are several developments in the race to replace Mayor Daly.